Hey guys, Sethley here back with another Apex Legends video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now in today's video, we're gonna be going over some news we did just get that is pretty big for Apex Legends. Something was announced. So about 20 minutes ago, Apex Legends tweeted out saying the spookiest season is upon us. Fight or Fright returns for four weeks straight of tricks and treats. Join us on this ghoulishly good time starting October 4th when Shadow Royale returns to Olympus after dark. So they did release a small trailer for this. I'll start playing some clips on screen right now, but they also released release the patch notes. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So there are four weeks of deadly entertainment. Shadow Royale debuts on Olympus after dark. And I'm sure most of you guys know how Shadow Royale works. When you die, you respawn in shadow form and shadows can run on walls, double jump, revive allies and deal extra damage. And they do die with one punch. And obviously shadows, both friends and foes endlessly spawn until their entire squad is wiped out. So let's get on to the limited time mode schedule. So from October 4th to the 11th, Shadow Royale will be on Olympus After Dark map. From the 11th to the 18th, Gun Run on Estates After Dark, Skulltown, and Fragment East. And then 18th to the 25th, Control will be on Lava Siphon, Barometer, and Labs After Dark. And finally, the 25th to November 1st, Shadow Royale will be back on Olympus After Dark. So that's really cool. We will be getting three different LTMs throughout this four-week event, which is very nice to hear. Also, for the Control mode that will be coming on the 18th through the 25th during this event, there are some updates. So I'll show those on screen right now. There is a new timed event, the MRB timed event. Get the MRB and deploy it to create temporary spawn point for your team, which is very cool. There's also an updated timed event order to have the bonus capture event be the third event to trigger. It now also rewards twice as much score as before. You can also now ping zones from the spawn screen, which is cool. Also for controller players, you can automatically place the cursor on the best spawn point when they get put into the spawn screen. Screen. Players also automatically pick up ordinances if they walk near it. Also, players can now emote on the intro podium screen, which I was surprised they didn't have that before, but that is now in the game now. Also, the Hammond Labs map now takes place on Olympus After Dark, which is a cool Halloween theme. Next, they also did some updates to the weapon loadouts. They have some new compositions, and they made some updates to weapons in weapon loadouts to have the same attachments available to them as the same tiers as Battle Royale, except for scopes. Also, in the spirit of Olympus After after dark, weapons that support threat scopes and sights have them as an option in the optic selection menu in the loadout selection menu. Also, they disabled pings for healing items for some reason. I'm not too sure why. I guess it's because everybody already has healing items in the control LTM. They also made some updates to spawn logic that should fix some rare spawn issues. And lastly, they made some spawn system tuning to further try to prevent issues where players spawn in sight of enemies or too close to enemies. So that's all the changes and updates they made to the control LTM for this event. But now onto the fight or fright sale. I'll show on screen right now some of those skins that will be on sale for the fight or fright event. I gotta say they do look pretty good, but honestly not the best. So from October 4th to November 1st, these Halloween themed skins will be available in the store tab. So I'll go ahead and show the skins that will be in the store right now. They're pretty nice, but like I said, not the best, but not only is there a variety of new spooky skins, they will also have two fan favorite skins returning for a limited time. So I'll show on screen right now. Between the 4th and the 11th, you will be able to get that Voidwalker bundle. And from the 11th to the 18th, you will be able to get Memoir Noir Pathfinder. So those are the two skins that are returning to the store, but obviously I'll show on screen right now all the different bundles we will have for this Halloween event. They are combining the old Fight or Fright event skins with the new ones in certain bundles. But that's everything we have for the patch notes for this Fight or Fright event. Make sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you guys are excited and happy about the fact that there will be three different LTMs throughout the course of this event. I sure am. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a ton. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. But it's been your boy, Seth Lee, and I'm out.